plaintiff, Dan Edelstein, says he and the defendant were friends for a long time. But after they moved in together, he realized she was a wild party girl. Dan claims he came home one day to find the defendant having a party where everyone was naked and getting on a stripper pole. And he's suing her for an unpaid gas bill. Defendant Alessandra Nutt says Dan is nothing but a sex freak who was always trying to meet women online. Alessandra insists she never turned the heat on in her apartment, and she firmly believes the house was haunted. Start with you. Uh, Sandy and I were friends for a long time, and then we moved in together to a two-bedroom apartment. I lived on the top floor, she lived on the bottom floor. Uh, I the gas bill for both apartments in my name, but I didn't realize until after I moved in that she was a wild party girl, always throwing parties, tripping out, bringing friends home. One time I walked home in the middle of the polar vortex and she, she was throwing a stripper party. She had black lights, she installed the stripper pole. Hold on, okay, <laughs> he helped install the stripper pole and was the first one on there. So, Did he I'm strip? not crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk about that in this no one room. that party. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead. The party was hot. She her and her friends were naked. They were booty popping all over the place, money all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and it was too wild for me. I couldn't handle it, so I eventually moved out. But she still owes me gas bills. All right. And what was the agreement on the uh, gas bill? Well, both the bills were in my name, um, but they were separate accounts from my floor and her floor. And she said she would pay the bills, okay. but she didn't. All right, ma'am. Your Honor, I just want to set the record straight a little bit. First mm -hmm. of all, we did not have the heat cranked up. I think the party was well attended and hot enough on its own. We did not all need right. the extra heat. And second of all, Dan's trying to make me out to be this wild and crazy party girl, but like, that's not entirely the case. And he is not as clean cut as this image he's presenting today. <laughs> he is a sex freak. That is he's, all, he's a nerdy <laughs> sex freak. He's always on the internet, on Tinder and whatnot, trying to get girls to come over for whatever. I don't even time. know. <laughs> so tell me about the gas bill, ma'am. What are you suing you for? The house that we lived in was extremely haunted. I know it sounds totally haunted? crazy and wacky, <laughs> yes. But the house was so haunted and... Um... First, let's go over this nut. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? That's her name. Oh. And that, what's your last name? My last name is Nut, oh. correct? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> What was the agreement on the gas bill? I don't owe Dan any money no, because I never used it. it. Was there an agreement on who would pay the gas in the location in which you dwelled? Me, Your Honor. All right, you agreed to pay the gas when you went in. And your defense today is something about ghosts? Is that what you're I, saying? All I'm saying is Haunted I... Haunted house? I never turned the heat on. Mm -hmm. I had an electric space heater that I used. I would wear layers and sleep under a down comforter. And basically... Why? Why? I don't I, know how she's saying she's not turning the heat sir, on when she's running let her the finish. Naked. Sir, <laughs> let her finish. Please. Well, how do you know she was naked? You just walk around the house naked during the day. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> would you? In the Man, winter. It's cold you? in Chicago. I, well, some sometimes, yes, I would walk around not entirely nude, but in my own... Um, Got it. I deny having to pay any of this gas bill because I never turn the heat on. The ghost... I have evidence right here of um, a news article of a man getting shot right in front of our house. Um, what does that have to do with anything? To, it proves that the house is haunted. Oh, to prove that the house is haunted. Yes, well, I also, I have another... Yeah, right, fine, the house is haunted, therefore... I, huh? The ghost was turning the heat on. She's so tripping right now, Your Honor. <laughs> She's I know it princess. sounds She's crazy. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> All right. Plaintiff Dan Edelstein rented an apartment with the defendant, and he claims one day he came home and the defendant was throwing a wild party where everyone was naked and getting on a stripper pole. What is it you wanted to show me, nut? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking Here... like Isn't that your last name? <laughs> Here I Aren't have... you a nut? I have... <laughs> no, with the family my name. First initial. The family name. <laughs> when they say to me, you look like a Mathis. <laughs> are you a Mathis? <laughs> I say, yeah. <laughs> so you say, you look like a nut. <laughs> are you a nut? <laughs> you would have to say what? Technically. You would have to say yeah. So I'm not being funny. Your Honor, Just asking yes. if you're from the nut family. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So, you say the haunted house <laughs> is liable because the, or the ghost because you didn't turn the heat up, but you think they did. I have a picture that shows about 7,000 ghosts. Let's see. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, have you? Are you familiar with orbs? Mm -hmm. I like. I did the little some round research. things that are supposed to uh, indicate yes. that. Yes, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of orbs in that photo, and I that was taken in the apartment. Either that or water spilled on this picture and created a lot of dust. <laughs> that is actually yeah. a scanned copy of a physical. Um... Yeah, and if it was water, it would have. Yeah, the exactly. water would drip, and it doesn't drip. Yes. It's perfectly round. <laughs> what do you think of this? I like to see it. Hand it to me. Because <laughs> now, Miss Nut, you're making a little sense. <laughs> What do you think of that? I think this picture is more out of control than she is, Your Honor. Uh, Why? Uh, You've never seen anything like that in the house? By the way, you shared the home. You never saw anything? One time the stove turned on by itself, but. Thank okay. you, Your Honor. Thank <laughs> you. Uh oh, you just Thank helped you. her case. <laughs> Thank you. But I think it was the cat, so. <laughs> she also paid the gas bill for the rest of the month. She has just two gas bills she didn't pay. So how's Is that true? Was what happened to the ghost that month? Well, uh, you couldn't <laughs> find him? <laughs> Did you pay any bills, ma'am? I, um, the, right. The ghost. All right, now you're making a fool out of me, nut. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Uh, she has acknowledged now that she has paid uh, one or two of the gas bills uh, at some point. You've shown evidence that you believe you owe. Judgment for the plaintiff, 531. This is He's totally full of kids. He's a skeptic. I'm right. There are ghosts and whatever. I never heard a crazier story in my life. I think she's tripping right now. <laughs> Got a legal question? Go to AskJudgeMathis.com for the answer. <laughs>